Balladinas are delicate, airy, and light, strong and determined. But what about flammable? Back in the 1800s, a surprising number of women were set alight and perished in a giant ball of flames. Were these women witches burned at the stake? No, it was fashion, darling. In the 1800s, women's fashion was changing. Previously, women had worn multiple layers of skirts and petticoats, building up their bottom halves to get attention and be fashionable. Because back then, they didn't have the butt implants we have today. Well, new fabrics and methods were coming onto the market, which meant that women's legs could move freely. Another women's liberation movement, this time for the lower limbs. Large hooped skirts became the norm. And for ballerinas, Tool was a game changer. Mystical and ethereal, the ballerinas could depict a range of characters while appearing graceful at the same time, thanks to the almost gravity defying fabric. On the 15th of November 1862, French ballerina Emma Livery was readying herself for her second act when she caught fire on a gaslight. She ran across the stage three times before the flames were extinguished. The wounds were worse because, out of modesty, Emma had clung to the burning fabric. If she'd just let it fall off, she wouldn't have been so extensively burned, but it was different times, and perhaps a naked ballerina might have been judged a bit harshly, even if it was an emergency. Surely this was just a freak accident, though. Well, no, it happened multiple times. Not to Emma, but to other ballerinas. There was no electricity, so lamps were necessary to light the stage and they had to be pretty close to the ballerinas to see all of those graceful movements. But the gas lights were not caged and the fabric was so flammable that a mistimed spin too close to the flame led to a burning ballerina. In many ways, the deaths could actually have been prevented. In 1859, an empirical degree in Paris was set forth that demanded that costumes be dipped in a chemical compound called alum, which served as a fire protection for the wearer. The problem with this was... Fashion, darling. The alum made the costumes a faded yellow colour and as stiff as a board, not the flouncy fairy fabric that a ballerina wants to be seen in, surely. Which is why the ballerinas refused to wear it. Poor Emma Livery lived for another eight months after the accident, then sadly passed of blood poisoning. So, she must have had some words of wisdom for the dancers that would come after her. Advice about safety, fire prevention, encouragement. Nope, she suffered for months but said that even if she was ever to return to the stage, she would not wear those but ugly fireproof skirts. So yeah, fire but make it fashion. It wasn't just ballerinas though. Women everywhere in the 1800s were at risk of becoming flaming balls of fire. Although they weren't strutting around in tool and tights, dresses were just as hazardous. The fabric was flammable and the hoop skirt allowed a gust of air to fan the flames. Worse still was the cleaning process that the women used for their gowns. Using a spray, then blot method in any stains, the women gently cared for their pretty dresses, but unfortunately, the fluids were made of petroleum and kerosene, which is quite literally adding fuel to the fire, is it not? So, even looking at a candle was a risk, and many women died after brushing by a naked flame in a kitchen or just going about their daily activities. The laces, buttons and fastenings in the dress made it so difficult to get the garment off quickly enough that the women would often succumb to their injuries. Once again, fire! But throw on some petroleum and make it fashion. So, flammable fabrics, accelerant. Surely that was all the hazards that the women in the 1800s had to deal with when dressing for the day ahead. Well, there was one other significant factor in the fashion world which was also pretty damn deadly. Some dresses would turn others green with envy. Well, some dresses would just turn people green and kill them. Yes, 
In order to achieve the popular green shades of the time, arsenic was used, which was harmful to the dressmaker, but also to the wearer and those around them. When those dresses went on fire, arsenic fumes were released into the immediate environment with the potential to kill more than just the burning dress owner. Rat poison, but make it fashion. And there you have it. Burning ballerinas, burning broads and fumigation dresses. Something for everyone. The true victims of fashion.